ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Cam Eels, photographer for Railing Roof. Today is Wednesday, August the 21st, 2013 AD, and today we are looking at the EOS 1DC. That's right, we're looking at the instruction manual that comes with the EOS uh, 1DC, which is basically the same thing as the 1DX, except it does 4K video. That's basically the only difference. It does, the 1DC does 4K video, plus it does HD and 60 frames, and it has some other video features, but and um, it, uh, outputs and inputs and basically it's photography wise it's the same camera as the 1DX video it's just enhanced and um, there are several features uh, which we'll get into here in a minute so this is a picture of the front of it it's very pretty it's very beautiful I wish I could afford it well, let's see if I can okay here it is page 2 don't okay, care okay Movie shooting it comes with an instruction manual, it comes with the 1DX manual, um, basically in the 1DC manual, plus it comes on software on, on a CD-ROM. Here's what you get. You get the camera, the eye cup, the battery, the battery charger, a wide strap, an interface cable, AV cable, cable protector, again the two discs, plus the manuals. Do -do 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 -do. Let's see what else we got here that's worth it looking at. I'm just, I'm just going through um, the uh, PDF that I got from Canon real quick. Give you an overview. Of course, here is an illustration of all the parts. And there's the same thing from the back side and top. With the, again, on the back side. And that's with the back side with the uh, CF card door open. Of course, you can plug in cables and protect them and hold them in place on the side. Uh, a whole bunch of movie settings, uh, whether you want to record in motion JPEG at 4K or one, uh, one, 1920 or 1280 or whatever you want to set it at. Uh, there's a list of different frame rates for each setting. You can do Super 35. Of, this is one of a bunch of different settings that you probably don't care about until you actually get it. I'm not going to go over a thing. Okay, here, here's a picture of all the things. That, it lists a lot of things on screen, which is really cool, I think. A lot of information, um, which once you get to know how to use everything, is pretty simple. But technology-wise, it's really cool as far as how much information they can really post on that little screen. Uh, talk about the shutter button. The different sensor, the side, the sensor, and the different, you know, how it's recorded. Here's a good uh, page 37. Is it good? Something to think about when you're deciding on whether you're going to use 4K, Super 35, 19 by 20, 1280, or 640. That is, uh, and of course, it comes with a different, uh, comes with either Motion JPEG, IPB, or All I. And it basically tells you, um, you know, on a four gigabyte card, thirty-two gigabyte. Basically, how much, depending on which file size you decide to go with, how long you can record in each file size. So that's kind of a neat little chart you might want to just kind of get used to. <coughs> I mean, you don't have to, but it would help if you want deciding. Uh, let's just keep going. Interesting here. I'm, like I said, I'm going over a lot of stuff. A lot of the stuff is just common sense if you've ever used a digital SLR. Okay, here's another page 64. And again, this has to do with photography side of the camera. And that is basically, we just, a few pages back, we talked about the file sizes and how many you can get with video. Well, this has to do with uh, the digital photography side of it and what you can get out of, you know, the large 18 megapixel or the 14 megapixel or 8 megapixel, you know, depending on what, whether you're doing raw plus whatever, or there's different kinds of raw sizes, large, medium, and small raw plus regular, you know, it's all, as you can see, there's different, different kinds. <coughs> now, I don't have an 18 megapixel camera, obviously, I have an 8 megapixel, but when I shoot JPEG, I shoot large, I shoot large JPEG, which is the one at the very top here. 
Plus, I don't shoot raw. My camera does raw, but I don't use it. So I use the L. What would be on this uh, left side would be L. So I mean, again, depending on your usage and how you're going to use it, there's some information there about uh, different file sizes for different image qualities. Again, here's what here's what comes with the camera when you buy it, and of course, there's a bunch of accessories on the outside that you can buy extra. Same thing on this page. Lot, lots and lots of accessories, to say the least. <coughs> uh, there's just, I mean, there's just a lot of information to go over. Uh, when you get this camera, if you buy this, decide to end up buy this camera, you're gonna have to read a lot of information because there is a lot of information to go over. I'm just going over a lot of this information very quickly to give you a general overview, but. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, here, okay, here's about the software. Um, and that's it. So, life flash back here to the beginning. Let me say this is a really good, cool camera. Really cool video features. Um, it's not cheap. It's the One DX plus 4K plus Super 35 plus some different. Um, full HD capabilities and because of that it's higher priced uh, so if you don't need the higher HD the you know 60 frames per second or 4k you might want to stick with the 1D or the 1DX excuse me if you want more features or need more features of course you're gonna, go, you're gonna buy this camera the 1DC it's really a matter of a what you need Two, what you want, and three, what you can afford. <laughs> if any of them, I can't afford any of them right now. But I would love to have this camera or the One DX, either one. And uh, they're both great cameras. They're both great video. Obviously, the One DC is going to do a higher resolution video, but they're both great in both aspects of photography, whether it be photography itself or the video. And um, if you've got the money, by all means, this is the camera you want, baby. That's all I'm going to say. So, until next time, I'm Ken Neal, photographer of Rowling Roos. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. And God bless. And as always, keep taking those pictures. Bye.